Imagine someone mastering trigonometry by the age of 13, solving infinite series by the age of 14, and inventing new ways to solve higher order equations by the age of 15. All of this without any formal training in mathematics. That someone was none other than S. Ramanujan, the man who knew infinity. In his short life of just 32 years, Ramanujan changed the course of mathematics. But the man had his own share of struggle. Ramanujan was born in Madras, British India, to a very humble family. His father was a clerk in a shop and his mother, a housewife who sang at a local temple. At an early age, Ramanujan showed signs of his mathematical genius, but he struggled a lot at other subjects, often failing in them. When he was 11 years old, he was gifted a book on trigonometry. Ramanujan mastered trigonometry in just two years, but the book that really changed his life was the one that contained 5,000 theorems which he studied in detail. By 16, he was developing his own theorems. Back in 1900s, mathematics was not an option to make a living in India. He showed his work to many foreign mathematicians, but all of them said that Ramanujan was unconventional and lacked a formal education. But when his work came across the desk of G. H. Hardy in England, the latter could not believe his eyes. Hardy decided to call Ramanujan to England. Hardy, along with his colleague Littlewood, further examined Ramanujan's work, after which Littlewood said, I think we can compare him with the great German mathematician Jacobi. In England, Ramanujan made a great progress working with Hardy and Littlewood. Ramanujan was exceptionally good at infinite series. Before him, there was an infinite series for pi. The problem was that it was very slow. It took 600 terms to come to the value of 3.14. Ramanujan, on the other hand, developed a series that would converge to 3.141592 just after one term. After spending time with him, Littlewood told Hardy, forget Jacobi, we can compare him with Newton. Another famous incident that shows Ramanujan's genius was when Hardy once came to meet him. When he got there, he told Ramanujan that the cab's number 1729 was rather a dull one. Ramanujan said, no, it is a very interesting number. It is the smallest number expressible as a sum of two cubes in two different ways. 1 cube plus 12 cube and 9 cube plus 10 cube. This number is now known as the Hardy Ramanujan number. The best incident that is noteworthy is when Hardy came up with a scale of mathematical ability that went from 0 to 100. He put himself at 25. David Hilbert, a great mathematician, was at 80. Ramanujan was at 100. 